Hey, y'all. Boy, am I feeling good. It is such a blessing to come up with some, re some meals that are so good for keeping your sodium level down. Yes, and your magnesium up. I miss blue, and I'm all about blue watching. Blue watching for the African-American woman to me is the magnesium and the sodium. Magnesium, at least 320 milligrams a day when you're grown. We just keep it there. And sodium, less than 1,500. But I'm going less than even that, like less than 1,000. But for y'all that are just starting off, less than 1,500. Look at these burgers. <clears throat> I decided I was going to cook my family some junk food, right? yesterday. So I cooked some burgers and french fries, brown lentil burgers. Look at that burger. Now, yesterday I couldn't have, but I had one, I had two burgers, but on one bun because I wanted a few of the french fries that I cooked, which would put my sodium level up there. So I could only have one bun. Well, today I didn't have no french fries because my husband eats a lot and he ate all the french fries. So we didn't have no french fries today. Thank God we didn't have no french fries. So what I did was I had two burgers. So I have two. I have this one and I got another one right here. But when you have two, the buns, these are some whole wheat buns, nice amount of magnesium, but the sodium level for one bun alone is 330 milligrams of sodium. And so I am having two buns. So that's 330 times two. Add it up. So I'm having two buns. And the lentils don't have enough sodium to really even count as sodium. But as you can see, my burger is big. Look at the, how many lentils is that. So that's at least... Um, a good cup of lentils cooked on each burger. And so, I looked up a quarter pounder. That's huge, ain't it? That looks like a quarter pounder. And I want to say that a quarter pounder sodium is 730 milligrams. That's what they said. I don't buy it, but that's what they put online. Um, so you're cutting your sodium with, um, this because the lentil burger don't really got, the lentil don't really got no sodium. Your spinach got a little bit of sodium, but I only put just a little bit of spinach on there. So we're talking about 10, you can't even really count that. Your, um, cheese, it is a light piece of cheese on there, which is Swiss and it's 40 milligrams a piece. So. 330 plus 40, we had 370. Um, and the little droppings of the other stuff we got on there, like a little bit of ketchup, a little bit. We probably add up to about 50 more. Anyway, we're under, of course, the sodium for one of them. We about at 400. So we're about 300 something milligrams less. So we get to have another one, another burger. Um, but the biggest thing is the magnesium that we are getting from these are like, at least we're getting about 160 milligrams of magnesium from eating both of these lentil burgers where you can't eat two quarter pounders. And then the magnesium is really low. It's like, um... I forget the amount, but it's low. And ain't no bunch of magnesium in no um, quarter pounder. So, yes, you get a lot of magnesium. You get your protein. You get all good stuff in this lentil burger. And did I say it's cooked with my blue spice? Taste the blue spice. And it is delicious. So, I'm going to eat this other burger. But I'm not going to eat anything else. And I eat one time a day because... This is all the sodium I'm having today, baby, because I eat one meal a day intermittent fasting. So if you eat more than one meal a day, boy, you got some calculating to do because Blue is watching. Blue watcher. Thank you. 
keep up with me. Follow me on bluedealshills.com. Uh, my YouTube page, Blue Deals Hills. Follow me, okay? And eat to live. Thank you. Mm, mm, mm. Boy, this is some good eating here.